Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Come on, Lucas Meat Factory. Hi. How's it going? Um, wow. So we are going to be playing more Hellgate London tonight. I'm very excited. With my good friend Simon Asht here. Uh, and we are hoping to get one step closer with completing this absolutely spectacular first person shooter slash third person action RPG loop based. It's super good. And having so much fun. Simon, good morning. It's good to see you, Simon. How are you today? Guys, today has been a very, very busy day. <laughs> I've had a good time, and I'm so ready to play some games. <laughs> I'm so ready to play some games. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. Um, Yeah, we're going to be uh, doing some uh, of this. Let's see. Professor Peril, greetings, Bogus. I'm a friend of Simon's, and I've been told that you have a thing for obscure games. You've got one for me. Ah. <gasps> Is it Christmas already? Share, share, please, please share. I love, love the strange and obscure. I was very lucky and blessed today to watch um, a PlayStation One fighting game. It has money in it, and you buy you buy items, and it has live action and animation called Twin Goddesses. It is insane. I'm very excited. Red Baron 3D. Is it Sierra? Is that the Sierra game? Curious. Because I know they did the Red Baron like franchise in general. I'm curious. Tell me about Red Baron 3D. Because I know I played um, Red Baron through the Imagination Network uh, back in the early 90s. Um, which was a, you know, dogfighting game. Terrible graphics, amazing flight physics. Let me, let me look it up. I'm going to see if it's, uh, Red Baron, if it's Sierra. Oh yeah, Dynamics. Yep. Yep. Um, wait, maybe not. Red Baron 3D was Micropro. Oh, no, it's Dynamics. Yep, Dynamics. Yep, published by Sierra then. Oh, yeah. I have not seen Red Baron 3D in particular, but I do know the franchise. Dynamics was uh, bought up by, by uh, Sierra um, in the early 90s. And they brought them in for racing games, flight games, um, and they used them for some of their adventure games, like uh, Adventures of Willy Beamish. Really good stuff. I will have to look into it. Because that's sort of fun. We need more flight combat games. Like, we need a whole bunch more. We don't have enough of those in the world. Um, and I'm really happy that uh, I think they're making a comeback. They're going to be. A Star Wars Squadrons was a, big, uh, was a big hit, I think. And I think that's kind of shown that people have an interest in those style of games. Um, plus, of course, you know, games like Star Citizen still being a thing. Someday we'll get it. More of them, exactly so. Sometime next year, I probably will plan on going through the Wing Commander series. I've beaten Wing Commander 1, I've beaten Wing Commander 3, and I've beaten Wing Commander Prophecy. Haven't beat 2. I've never played 4. But from what I hear, Wing Commander 4, right up my alley. I beat Privateer, I beat Privateer 2. Um, and... But played, and you can't really beat, but Wing, uh, Wing Commander Academy. There's also uh, Wing Commander... I think it's called Armada? I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. It was really cool because it was a, it was a strategy style game. Think like what uh, Star Fox 2 is, of sorts. It's really interesting. When I, um, one of your first, first PC games I played from Dynamics, a licensed Ghostbusters 2 DOS game. But they made racing games? Absolutely they did. Yeah, Dynamics did um, a lot of uh, racing stuff. I can't think of them off the top of my head. But that's what they were. They really kind of focused on was racing and flying games um, for Sierra to kind of diversify their, uh, their games lineup. What I love most about the game is that there's no health bars for the plane. It all depends on how and where your plane got shot as to whether or not you go down. But your pilot can also get shot and potentially killed instantly. Ooh, that's exciting. You know, Professor Peril, one day, and I'll invite, I'll invite everybody to this. I really want people to come together 
and do the Imagination Network. I streamed this early October of last year. Just a little bit of it. It was Sierra's um, online social media service. Right? They had it in like 1990. And you could play Red Baron online with dogfighting. They also had um, like little games, like little mini golf games. And, uh, you know, backgammon and checkers and card games, as well as like a casino zone where you had to submit or mail in a postcard with your username information and to verify that you're 18 years of age to get access to this casino world. You didn't bet real world money, but it was like Larry, Leisure Suit Larry Land. And you had to, uh, you had like places to meet and hook up with people. It's very strange. But they had Red Baron there. They also had a game that was a multiplayer-oriented uh, dungeon-crawling RPG called Shadows of Aserbius and its sequels, which were really cool. And they were uniquely designed to really kind of focus and emphasize on multiplayer. It's really cool. I will totally, though, check out Red Baron 3D because I think that's a really cool idea. And I don't mind janky graphics. That's what I live for. Anyways, we're playing, though, tonight more... Hellgate London. That's what we're doing. <gasps> Woo, Sai! How are you doing, Sai? Hope you're doing well if you're there. Interesting. Nice. But I definitely want to get people to play Thank the... Thank you! Thank you for the follow! That puts us 10 away. We're 10 away for doing a Nintendo Labo stream of building the robot kit and playing the entirety of that game, which is a big deal. Um, so thank you. All right, let's get this going. Whoop. Main stage. What in the world? There we go. Okay, so where we last left off, we had moved on to a new station. They had Captain Kirk in there. They had Terry Pratchett. They had Captain Picard. <laughs> and, uh... We've been, work we just took out a, a pustule spreading beast, and we went in and, and got its heart. Ooh, boy. I need to change my password. <laughs> uh, that was part of it, at least. Shh, you didn't see that. That was part of it. It was in its entirety. Okay. Oh, so you're ready for some Hellgate. Well, do you have Discord? We have the link. It, my robot said it at some point, I think. You're more than welcome to join Discord. And uh, and join the voice chat there with Simon. If you want to. And I'm totally ready. Let's see, where were we? Okay, I got a report to Sir Singh. For the severed samples, and we haven't done those. The the we're gonna not track those quests because we have to go way back, and I'm not doing that right now. Hold on, hold on. Let me get. Let's see. Yeah, you talked about me tweeting robot, but you didn't talk about my Discord. One second, I'll send it. And right, people. I'll throw it in the chat for everybody. Boink. Boink. There we go. Yep, follow that. And you'll have access to it. And we go into the bogus stream voice chat. And we play. Alright. Found it in the panels below. Perfect. Yeah, you're free to join. And, um, and, uh, we'll join up. I'm excited. Another good person morning. added this. Good morning, Simon. Oh, it's so good to it's so good to hear your voice right now, Simon. How are you? I'm ready for another shift. All right. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so excited. Very well. Did you enjoy your science trip, Poppet? Many of mine would have been fascinated by what you experienced. Were you not also? No matter. You've done well. 
With this heart, I can create the equipment necessary to cleanse the land of our little infestation problem. It's exactly what I required. Your continued success will not go unnoticed or unrewarded, Puppet. I thank you. The station thanks you. Give me time. Magic of this sort is not worked in the moments. Okay, so we're done with that. Simon! Oh, Professor Peril! That is I. Hello! Welcome to the stream! Woo -woo! Doing a dance. A pleasure to be here. I've heard wonderful things about you. Oh, I thank you. You're too kind. Too kind. Too kind. Um, let me see my inventory. It is a mess. Let's see. So yeah, this... I've got a whole bunch of weapon mods for you to look at. Oh my gosh. I totally... Oh my goodness. I have an inventory that is overflowing with weapon mods, and I'm like, I don't even know. I don't even know. Alright, I'm ready, Simon. Hit me with your best mods. I'm excited. Oh. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, man. Whoa. I'll excel it. Oh my gosh. I don't have very many of these, too, by the way. This type in particular. I only have like three. Also, my five year old may be <laughs> rambunctious today. She's had a hard time sleeping. Looks like you have a Cthulhu right, mask. See what you can use out of that much. Okay, um, so the relics, I don't have anything that uses the relic stuff just yet. I haven't had anything. Oh, I do have one, actually. Never mind, I will take the relics. My burners use those. So I will absolutely, I'll take, I'll take it. Um, yeah. Wow. And this has got, let's see, physical damage, that's good. And then, let's see. Stun attack strength, that's perfect. That's exact. I'll take all these, Simon. <laughs> Hold on, I'll, um... Yeah, I can't pick very particularly, but they all are very helpful. Oh my goodness. I'll accept. I will put these on now. Okay. Now, we just reached Temple Station. We did that level that was in the complete darkness. Yeah, we also went in and got the heart, remember? I'm talking about me and uh, Peril. Oh, okay. Cool. But we can. He's, he's almost right up next to us. He just needs to do the worm thing. Okay. We can absolutely do that one again. I don't mind that in the slightest. Let's see. Okay. So it has. Beast, fire damage, splash. Bogus, what class are you? Uh, I'm a uh, marksman. Marksman, okay. If I see some things that you might be able to use, I'll keep an eye out for that. All right, thank you. Attack strengths, let's see. Okay. go through my inventory inventory magic time so i was thinking about this the other day have any of y'all ever played um path of exile 
I played it for a few hours, didn't like it. It takes a lot from this on how inventory is done, like how um, item generation and modification is. Uh, I played it back in the early days, so I was in like the, they had a closed alpha way back in the day. And uh, I played it after launch too, a little bit. Um, I enjoyed it, but it is, um, you know, kind of Diablo-y. But uh, it definitely took a lot from this game in particular. Like in just how your gear is, is comprised. I've noticed. Let's see. Large power packs. All right, Professor, what do you have to do next? Uh, I have to speak with Rourke. Where is okay. he? Yeah, we'll follow your lead. Hey, yeah, IW42. Like about... What's up? The thing I didn't like about Path of Exile was that you got skills from drops. Yes. Like, I had no way to like plan out my build. I had no idea what my character was eventually going to grow into. I didn't know should I take this skill or wait for something later. There was just so much kept from the player. I feel like it's gotten worse. Like when did you get into the game? Yeah, a couple of years ago. I mean, okay. I only gave it a few hours before uninstalling. Yeah. It's one of those things that I enjoyed. Um, I actually like that, but but you're absolutely right that it takes some time to figure out like what's good, what's worth keeping, what's not, because when you like attach it to that item, you know it takes some effort to get it unattached. Got two and three three things in Waterloo. Okay. So that I seems say, like I the most uh, efficient route. Perfect. I can feel the world turn. Just one I second. I'm just accepting these little quick quests and stuff. Take your time. So I right. got what, Sandman's ear, uh, inconspicuous workstation, and demon tidbits. From plague zombies. One moment, okay. All right. And you said Waterloo. Yep. Okay. All right. We. Away we go. As I spawn a horde of <laughs> minions. Oh, I was like, oh god. <laughs> They are crazy. They might be on drugs. So yeah, uh, Isaac, welcome by the way. I've, how did you, did you hit your goal of 5k in your charity stream? I hope you did. Seven. Whoa. Nice. IW42 was doing a charity stream and uh, was able to hit a lot of money raised. It's very good. Well done. Now I'm like, which ones are enemies and which ones aren't? I'm so confused. I found in Elite Passageway. Ooh. So who's up for a little detour? I mean, I'm always up for a detour. Ooh, 
money, 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 money. You said this was elite? If I... uh, maybe it wasn't. I it did say. Passageway, so. It did say elite passageway. I thought it was a treasure okay. passageway. It's a treasure passageway. Oh my gosh. That's palladium for days. Eh, uh, well. Just based on that. I'm guessing it's a uh, treasure. I found a treasure chest. Found a couple enemies. There's a, there's a couple enemies. Ooh. This is very elaborate. Found another treasure chest. Okay, how do we all get separated? <laughs> We've all split up! Because... Treasure. Here were... <laughs> several places to go. Does when we open a treasure chest and that, if someone's not next to it, do they not get the treasure that pops up? I don't know. Because I saw an open treasure chest and I was not able to get it. Yeah, There's I nothing. suppose not. <gasps> We've learned something very important. Very important. Stick together. Yeah, there's another chest that yep. Can open. Or I can't do anything with it. It's empty. There's no loot. Yeah, I was at your stream, yeah. Um I was like I wasn't there at the end though. You were at like four hundred or four thousand like one hundred or something at the time that I ended up. Uh, leaving, I came in when you had shaved the beard. Like, the aftermath of shaving the beard was the last time I was in. You have so many minions. This is ridiculous. How many is it? I have uh, six elementals and my carnivore. <laughs> I think we're gonna be okay. Well, I mean, I feel like you know we've got a uh, rather absurd amount of uh, defense. Yeah. <laughs> go. Uh, two more demon tidbits. Oh, very nice. Oh, there we go. Hi, dude. Dude? The rare dark seraph. <laughs> oh, I thought Xanity was here. I wish. That'd be more like, dude! Oh my gosh. It's gonna step out of that madness there for a second. What else do we need for you for the quest here? Uh, two more demon tidbits and the Sandman should be somewhere around here in Waterloo. Okay. Found him. Oh, hey, that Mr. Sandman. Yeah, let's bring me a dream. Do, 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 do.
Just plague zombies. Plague zombies. Do you also need the inconspicuous workstation? I did get that already. Alright. Oh, wait. There's a demon tidbit I missed. And there's another demon tidbit I missed. Alright, we're done with this. <laughs> Yay! Now uh, six flesh samples in the upper ground, and 20 screechers killed in the upper ground. All right. Beds. Yeah, dude, Isaac, getting yourself, apparently because I was one of the top fundraisers, they're sending me a computer. Dude, that's great. That is great wow. to hear. I'm super proud of you, man. That's a good thing. You did it all for a good cause, too, so that's all that matters, right? Whoa. Let's say your carnivore, like, takes up, took up, like, the whole room, the whole alley. Oh, yeah, he'll, he'll do that. <laughs> if I tell him to get big. I have a question. Do you have a name for him? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I... Maybe I want to call him Stompy. Stompy's a great name. Whoever's <laughs> oh, Stompy, get big for me, Stompy. I see another passageway. Ooh. Detour, anyone? Oh, I'm all for detours right now. Hidden passageway. Get in character, people, says Recyclable Psy. Okay, Psy, we're getting into character. We got Stompy. I'm just going to spout No Doubt lyrics because I'm apparently the drummer for No Doubt. How's Gwen Stefani these days? Doing spectacular, you know. She's all with, uh... Uh, her boyfriends from The Voice, and they had themselves a baby or whatever, and things are just going great. That's what I hear from the grapevine. I mean, we don't talk anymore, not after the incident, but. They can't just leave us uh, chat hanging like that. <laughs> I mean, a gentleman never tells, especially when it comes to Gwen Stefani. Whoa, I got. I got warped back to the entrance. That's weird. Hi guys. Is that uh, it? All right. Yeah, that's very, it. very small passageway. I mean, it was just a passageway. At least they weren't lying. It wasn't like the grand chamber. That's really cool, Isaac. I know someone else. Um, has raised uh, funds for that hospital as well. This really awesome person, uh, Chip Cheesum is his name. He does really good stuff. Um, and uh, he is also from the Flint area and raises money for the hospital too. And I'm really glad that Flint gets help. All the help it needs. Because man. Whew. Glad that good folks like you guys are helping him out. I need to talk about how to set stuff up myself, because I definitely want to get on, on the helping action. There's so many bugs. That might be my fault. <laughs> you guys in your bugs? Yeah, it wasn't me this time, I swear. <laughs> Alright, so what else do we need right now? What you at? Uh... Two more flesh samples and nine more screechers killed. Alright. Oh, yeah, this passage here is where we need to go. Hey, how's it going, Obligato? How are you doing today? Welcome back. 
Hope you're doing well. Oh, it's swelling to enormous size! Stumpy! You're so swole! And you're kind of... There you go. There you go, buddy. You got this. Uh, he's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. Makes a good lap dog. Aww. That's what my wife, she had a St. Bernard growing up that was raised by cats. And so he really thought it was oh a lap dog. This madness, this absolute chaos right now. My bit rate, uh, my poor, poor bit rate! <laughs> Alright, so that's the last of this place. Now travel to Barge House. Alright. A gentleman never asks, and a lady never tells. Okay, I'll absolutely message you. I'll absolutely. It is my ADHD brain. Isaac, that makes it impossible for me to remember anything after, you know, five minutes of stating it. <laughs> I will absolutely. Because you had a good layout, like I dug the layout, and, you know, I don't know how, like, integration for that stuff works. What is... What is going on? Anybody else seeing, like, the floating skull just slowly rising into the air right now? Lord Olamiel? No, it's just a head. It's not anything targetable. It's just floating in the sky. Huh. I did not see that, no. It's, uh, it's right there. Hey, you okay up there, little skull? <laughs> That's okay. Let's get moving. Sorry. I digress. Nothing wrong with a little distraction. We're here to have fun. That's right. <laughs> no, it's serious business. It's video games we're talking about here. Alright, Stompy, go. go. Get big. <laughs> Get big, Stompy! Roar! Get jacked up on Red Bull and start thrashing like a crazy hippie in a concert. You know, I'm not unsettled by a skull just floating into the sky. I'm, I'm unsettled, but there's a floating skull around that... I have no idea where it is now. <laughs> <laughs> it's right behind you, look! Ah! Simon, did you know that there's a skeleton inside you right now? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, what? What, Sai? How am I failing you right now? Are you ready then? Okay, you ready? War. War never changes. Instead of fighting the men in Nam, we're fighting demons on the streets of London. You know... War... It's war. It smells. It's ugly. But it's war. 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 <laughs> I'm too jovial for this setting, to roleplay in this setting, Sai. Oh my goodness. Oh, yay! That was for a quest I had. Get this man an Oscar! Woo! Rollar the Ravenous. This is absolute madness at this moment. Oh, there's a lot of fire. It's the maggot. Run away. Run, run away! Oh, yeah. Woo! It's the thing that's been leaving these weird pustules. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah. I remember this. Look at you. Who's a cute little maggot? Look at you! Look at you! You're so cute! I'm shooting you in the face right now! 
<laughs> you were so adorable. We did it. Oh my. Goodbye. Your planet needs you. Giant flying space vagina. Look at all this that loot. It's not a sentence I expected to hear today. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Oh, it's gone now. It was. See him up in the sky? I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. Just <laughs> not that that wasn't just a sentence I expected to hear today. That's all. Uh, let's see. Can I grab? I need a gun. Surely there's one in this pile. Oh my. I have something for you guys. I think. Yeah, evokers. Yeah, let's see what that does. Ooh. It decreases the power cost of evoker skills by 3%, plus 42 shields, plus 10 power points, plus 11% minion health, adds 305 stun defense, and 131 prison defense. Poison, not prison. Can't prison move. defense. You know, prison defense. Oh, uh, you know. A, sh a shiv? <laughs> We're in, oh boy. Oh. I like Sprint 3 better. Inventory management. It's what I do every day. Also, so I'm much better with the written word than the spoken word in that department. I've got to, to get in character and write my flowery emote text. I'm too silly to verbally roleplay in such a way. I was going to say uh, if um, <laughs> J-Rod or Lip is around, they would know firsthand that it is very, uh, very silly. Let's see. Pants. Oops. Let me look at your pants, baby. Okay. Inventory management. It was a balmy, balmy. 80 degrees here today in our wonderful world of Michigan. It was aggressively hot. You're not too terribly far from me. I have no idea why in the world it was 80 degrees today. <laughs> I was very much like, huh, it's hot. And then tomorrow it's going to be like 50 degrees. I'm going to oh. now next we need to do new bridge and the big gun down. I'm clearing up inventory space by selling all these things that I have no need for. have a armor for Professor Peril for sure. I think you may be interested in it. How may I be of service? S 
selling all my stuff. Ooh. I have a legendary fuel mod. Ooh. It's a plus 40% damage to deven demons and 9% chance to cause a toxic nova when it kills. Ooh, that's very fancy. It was 57 where you were? What? Yeah, that's pure Michigan right now. You know us. When it's supposed to be cold, it's hot. When it's supposed to be hot, it's cold. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. I'm gonna give you, trade this with you. And you can take a look at this, see if this is good for you. Because it's got evoker skill stuff, which is good for you. Increased minion health. I think that's all right up your alley. Uh, let's you see. Take a look. Out in the Detroit, the Metro Detroit area is where I'm at, Obligato. Oh, yeah. If you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. That's pure Michigan. That's the truth. That's the truth. We have, like, all the windows open right now. Why? It's gonna have to wait, buddy. Let's see. Let me get. Uh, yes, by the way, that armor is fantastic, and I will be using that immediately. All right! Woo! We did our job! Let's see. What sort of guns are your personal preference? I like all of the guns. <laughs> um, I I like assault rifles, like the or the 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 rifle rifles. You know, like the normal yeah, ones yeah. that do physical damage. And then I've got little fire pistols, and then rocket launchers of any sort. Those are seeming to be my three kind of go-to. We did it, Twitch! What did we do? What did we do, Simon? What did we- Er, Simon. What did we do, Isaac? What did we do? I have a community goal set up and I'm working towards, but it doesn't update on my- For whatever reason, on my phone. It doesn't tell me, so if that's it, I don't know. Look at all these cool people and their cool armor. I do not look nearly as cool. I look kind of like some, uh, whoa. Like, I look like Bane! The mask! Well, just a bunch of Halo rejects. Woo! Halo rejects! Okay, where are we going? I'm just gonna sell some crap and Let's then sell talk it. to people. Woo! Help point, fire alarm, emergency, information. Is there a crouch button in this game? Oh, there is. Hold on. There is a whole menu I did not even know existed. Okay. World map, auto map, inventory, skills, expertise. <gasps> when you get to level 50. Thank you, Sakana Thank you. <laughs> and it's too kind of you. Three months! Woo! You're jibbling, bibbling my jibblies right now. You got the tingle. Oh my goodness. You just wait. I'm going to revamp this because I have, I have seen the tingle dance from Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. Oh my goodness. If you ever want to bibble my jibblies right now, you show me the tingle 
Rosie Rubulant dance. Okay, so when you hit 50, you get expertise. Interesting. Cruelty. Countless hours of battle have enhanced your ability to inflict pain. Oh my goodness. Well, that's damage plus 2%. Psh. Bah. I got a thing right now that it's damage uh, increased by how much? Oops, wrong thing. Uh, damage increased by... I thought this one had a damage increase into it. By 13% on my gun alone. <laughs> I'm glad, Sakanako, that you are another Tingle fan. We need more Tingle people. Whoa. Is Koala Limpow. Ooh, Kalu Limpa! Tingle, tingle, Kalu Limpa! If you see fire or smoke. Alright, so what have I got now? I'll Travel play. to the big gun down. Oh, yeah. And eight demon claws taken from the burning dead in Newbridge. Alright. New bridge it is. This new bridge leads to the big gun down, so that would be the logical course of action. You were mildly pro Tingle before, but the more people tell me they hate him, the more I love him, Sakanakao. Oh, you're speaking deeply to my heart right now. Sort of like Comic Sans, I always thought it was a nice font, but now that I know how much power it has to disturb people, it's gotten so much better. That's what I'm talking about. Sakanakao. I, and it only happens towards hate. It only applies to hate. When people hate something, I'm very much like, it's not, is it really worth the hate? I'm going to love this thing now. I'm bringing out a new pet today. Ooh, what's his name? Oh, look I don't know. at you! I haven't tried him yet. Oh my goodness! It's it's creepy long legs. Look at you! Is that your head down between your loins? Like what is that? Your dangling participle? <laughs> Such a contrarian! No, only contrarian when it comes to, to somebody hating something. <laughs> I have to be like, it's not that bad. It's only bad because you approach it from a very particular perspective that is not necessary. Like, people who hate Final Fantasy VIII, it's like, well, you hate it because you're a person who loves to grind and power level, and it doesn't let you do that in the game. So, that doesn't make it bad, it just makes it not your style of play. Oh, that's a field of corpses. Yep, I think we killed them. I don't know about you guys, but I think we killed them. Demon claws, demon claws. I did not take a single demon claw here. What? Um, what was it that carries the demon claws? Taken from burning dead. Ah, uh, they're up above. That's why. I got one up here. Should be one up there. Yep, that's one. How many do you need? Eight. Oh my goodness. Yep, found one. Nice. Two. I hear one. There we go. Yeah, I hear another one.
Or is that your buddy? Yeah, that was four. We have a, a passageway and a hell rift. All right. Uh, passageway first. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Wee. But I genuinely love Tingle. Tingle's my guy. Like, I play Mr. Game & Watch and Smash Brothers, you know, like, you gotta love the doofs. Those ones who don't get all the love. We have to give them some love. The grotesque. Oh my gosh, they're just falling. All the ragdoll physics! Zombies running at you. Got a chest. Ooh, two Chester. There we go. Got some fancy boots. I got a mind control weapon. Ooh, how does that work? The Grand Master Mind Control Weapon Convert Direct Mind Control Strength 139 ener Weapon Energy Consumption minus 10 Hit Points Ooh. plus 18 Power Point plus 15 9% chance to cause a Spectral Nova when it hits an enemy And it hits! That's a good weapon. What's that for? Is that for you guys? I don't no? It should have it listed on thing. It, it, no, it's a it's a unique rather oh. than a uh I mean I'm guessing I can use it because it's not telling me that I can't. That's amazing. I am very curious to see a mind control gun? <laughs> like what does that mean? Let's put it in my left hand and see how it works. Uh Alright. Let's see. Let me look at your left hand. Oh, very nice. I like you. I like you do it a cha cha. It's got like yeah. Wolverine blades on it. <laughs> it's a spiky thing. <laughs> Looks. You know what that mind control device needs? It needs a bunch of claws on it. Oh. They glow blue. Another chest. Hmm. Interesting. I might be mistaken, but it seems like it doesn't do much other than just temporarily stop them from attacking me. Huh. Well, I remember finding a few of those on my other Kabbalist characters. Oh, jeez. And... Lord Krusak. And, yeah, whoever you, I guess, use it on, they kind of become the universal target. <gasps> or, what? The coil bot! To attack them. I need to I need to, to know who is responsible for the coil bot. Why does it keep giving me a dollar? This robot once every so many hours just like here's a dollar. Oh 
Ooh. Sounds like a nice robot. I know, right? Let's see. Yeah, as so, long as you can sustain a beam on them, they'll be friendly. Interesting. It's kind of because it's a nice robot. Well, thank you, robot, for the dollar. Lord Cusack? I loved him at Gross Point Blank. <laughs> hey, man, Gross Point Blank is spectacular. He directed that movie, by the way. He did? Yeah. I lost you guys. Right. I was staring at chat. Uh, we are outside. Oh, we go back up? We're going, okay. we're going back to the Hell Rift. Woo! I'm and... joining in a minute. Okay. Uh, just a small one. Okay, good. Oh, man. I don't know if I could do another raid one. <laughs> Those took forever. I'm gonna bring Stompy back. Oh, jeez. Hi, guys. There's a lot going on. That's why I just rely on Stompy. Exactly, there you go. Set it and forget it. Man, that taunt is just so helpful. So is that Stompy doing that? Yes. Oh, Stompy. Being the player of the game here. Yeah, this purple tentacle I've been throwing everywhere. It If it kills a monster, the monster explodes. And since they're all surrounding Stompy, they all get hit by it. That is very nice. And I can just run up to Stompy and then cast a thunderstorm so that everybody's underneath it. Oh yeah, you get your flaming strike. Yep. I keep forgetting to use any of my powers, so I'm just like, yeah, I'll just hold this button, it's good. So Kanaka says, but one of the things it does, hold on, I get, whoa, I guess Coil is something that's sort of like Patreon? So it calls a web monetization platform. Subscribers can have bits sent to Twitch streamers just for watching. But one of the things it does is patronize by sending the bits through the bot just by watching. So you're giving money to Coil for them to redistribute to other people it sees you watching on Twitch, among other similar functions, I presume. Wow. That's crazy. Because, yeah, I mean, this has been going on now for like a month. And it pops up like maybe once every other stream. And I've been very much like, what is going on? Like, I didn't understand what it was doing or why. Like, I, I knew that it was like some like an accrual for just watching. And I was like, huh. I'm very much like thankful for, who, for whoever has decided to do that. But I'm also very surprised. Are we still looking for stuff from the whatchamacallits, those dudes? Uh, you're looking for the bits? Uh, yeah, the flame, whatever the hell they are, the burning dead, demon yeah. claws, yeah. Oh. Alright, let's do a sweep. Got something. Got Orbile. Oh, I fell through the I fell through the game, through the floor. Okay. 
I'm having lots of problems today. <laughs> it sent me back to the beginning of the zone, thankfully. Oh my goodness. What's really funny is that I'm monitoring my own stream. It sends bits to me too. <laughs> well, that's nice. So then I need to do that, right? Wait, what exactly is it doing? I'm fuzzy. So like, um, it's just a thing where by watching the stream, it's accruing bits. That it then once it reaches a threshold, it just sends it to you, sends it to the channel that you watch. Epic music in an endless room. There's doesn't nothing in here. Wait, who is watching? So if you sign up for Coil, right, and you watch streams. Okay. It builds up bits just by watching, like it, the the bot does. I don't know how that works. Yeah, that, that's why I'm fuzzy. Do you put money into it? It's how five dollars. It oh, bits? you pay five dollars a month for it. I see. So you pay five bucks a month for it, and that money goes into bits. Then I'm guessing, and that just gets redistributed as people watch the stream. I think that that's super cool. Well, maybe we can do the big gun down and then come back here. The yeah. burning dead will have respawned. Nope, no need. I just found the last one. Yay! So, big gun, big gun down. I am ready. I can't wait. I'm here with all seven of my minions. Interesting. It's used by other stuff like Imgur. Huh. You learn something new every day. Thank you, by the way, Isaac, for that. It's fascinating. All right, you got this. Get on those big guns. Oh. How do I do that? So you, you, there should be a use or something oh, like that. Is. There you go. I got it. Whee! Oh, you gotta use the rockets. The right click. There you go. That takes down its shield. And then minions are gonna come out eventually and use the, the chain gun for that. got the polyps you just focus on the thing we, we got those dudes we got it Like, I like this idea, but in the end, or it's just you just hitting the right button like over and over and over again to like hit this spaceship, it's not that engaging to the end. It's a really cool idea that did not get implemented well. Oh, oh no, it's bigger than a polyp. Yeah, oh, yeah. That was a lot. Did you get, you get thrown off? I did. I also fell all the way down the hole. Oh no! Climb! Climb!
Fighting a giant demonic space vagina. Gonna blow it up as it shoots its dangly bits at me. Watch out, it's got some polyps. I think that's considered. What is it called? That disease? HPV. <laughs> I lost my mind. I'm so, I'm so like sleep deprived and a little crazy. Dramatic music. You've almost killed the giant space pajano. Most thrilling gameplay 2020. This is the winner right oh. here. Oh, 11 out of 10. Woo! Bio brains are coming to suck your brain juice out. Yay, we did it! And like that, it disappears into the ether. Ooh. Me too. I agree. This, the giant floating space whale is gone. He's no more. I think that's it, right? That's uh, the last quest I've got, so yeah. Whee! See it rob someone. Yeah, that That's usually a lot more intense when you have to do it solo. I would think so, yeah, absolutely. What do I got in my inventory right now? Pants, don't need those. Don't need no pants. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need those boots. Art sample. So I've got a, a focus item. It's an infesting enigmatic axis. It decreases the power cost of evocation skills by 10%. It adds 8% spectral damage, 9% toxic damage, but has an 8% hit point penalty and an 8% minion health penalty. Anybody want it or you want me to get rid of it? I think that can probably be dropped. Okay. I'm never going to use those double-edged stuff. Okay. The cyan items. Okay, so I'll say goodbye to it. Goodbye! Let's see. Okay. I keep gathering these things as if I'm going to actually use them for crafting. It's probably not going to happen. <laughs> what, the blueprints? Uh, just the the crafting materials. I have like over a thousand to two hundred and twenty tech components. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna actually use those. Well, take a look at the crafter who's next to the vendor. Okay, so there are people that this can be used things for. Oops, I do not want to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. Right, that's then. Blessed battery increases damage by 14%, requires 129 rare scrap materials and five, uh, is it? Yeah, 530, no, that doesn't seem right. Quantity required, yeah, 537. 537 tech components, 129 requ uh, rare scrap materials. I got that in spades. So that gets you a blessed battery, legendary. 14% damage increase. Ooh. Okay. 
All right. I'm not sure. Uh, what sort of quests are you on right now? So, like, going to Cannon Street, essentially, is what we'll be doing. We we just okay, got the so we went and got the heart. So then, like, the next main story quest is the one that we just did. I think. We go, uh, we go into the thing. I've got to go to the strand next. Okay. I'll be in there waiting. We're in the strand. Looks just like all the other places on the station. Ooh, look at that guy. Look at you, aren't you a big old pretty demonic Rastafarian? So what do you need in the strand right now? What you looking for? Furies and the Hag. Okay. Oh, last time those spawned behind our. Yeah. They spawned behind what? There's a little bit of playable game space behind the entrance where we spawn in. Hey, Lord Olmeal's hanging out inside one of those big old pustules. Again. Isn't that where you would want to hang out? I were... think, I mean, yeah. If I, if I was a demine, demonic orb of sorts, I think that that's probably would be my go-to hangout place. Where all the cool kids hang out, all the polyps. Those young bourgeoisine, uh... You know, growths. <laughs> oh, jeez. Black Friars. It's like those things don't spawn until you've killed everything. Oh, if that's what they want, then who are we to deny them? I guess this is true. You speaketh the truth, good sir. They're hard to miss. I know. Two Furies and one of the Furies and... is the is the uh, the name thing. All right, found one. Yay! Wait. Go into you. Now having two other teammates, I'm like, which one's where is the other one? Which one is which one's who? Oh, good point. Hey, look at the hag. There's the other one right here. 
Yeah, see, they spawn back where we were, but you have to kill everything essentially. Well, I mean, the hag was mobile when I spotted her. Maybe we just circled each other. That could be. Is that everything All we right. need? That's both of those. Woohoo! Blackfriars. Blackfriars, Puddle Dock. That sound of the burning deads is ingrained in my brain now. Necker. Oh, he's regressing! Oh my gosh, my ears. <laughs> a bit overwhelming. Oh my goodness. Oop, another Hellgate. Yep. Ooh, fun! Let's see if it's the fun kind of Hellgate. It is the fun kind! Alright, come on, Stompy. Get up here. I need you. Everybody here. Stompy's gonna make the Hellgate stuff, like the, uh, the raid thing, so much easier. Yeah, our oh, professor and I, our first Ancient Blood. Since he's a summoner and I was playing the engineer who was also a summoner, we had a whole bunch of minions just to run interference for us. It was a lot easier than the first one. Nice! Yeah, Stompy just called everybody over and then we just AOE'd everybody to death. Hey! If it ain't broke, right? It works, it works. Uh, I'm a little low on minions here. Uh, Alright, um... I was gonna say, if we can call a five minute break to grab some drinks and stuff... I By all means. Right back. I'm just clearing out the rest of the area here real quick. So Simon, how are you? I'm not sure yet. Not sure yet. I'm doing great. Well, uh, the professor and I played a little bit. And then we've been playing for like five hours. Uh, just trying to get up to 22. Oh, nice. I mean, if it only took you five hours, that was actually a lot quicker than how long it's taken me to get that point. Oh, no, we, we played yesterday, or yesterday night, went to sleep, and then basically went back to this. Ah. So we went from 1 to 11, slept, then 11 to 21. Ooh. Do, 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 do. I wonder what happens if he uses taunt and then I use word of fear to make them scatter. Huh. 
I would think that they're just going to run away and then when they're, that wears off that they'll go back to the taunter, if that's still effective. That's my guess. But man, nice place this hell. Honestly, look at all this open real estate. In reality, it's not that bad. Oh, look at all you little dudes. You got no heads, you're just pouring out elemental powers and prowess. Look at you, Stompy. You're so Stompy. I like you, Adua, the Stompy. Not too far away from 23. Well, let's see. EMP blast. Multi shot. Yep, multi shot's really nice when you have a sniper rifle or a slow, like slow fire rate weapon. Like yeah. A rocket launcher. Oh yeah. There it is. Quires, weapon master rank two. I want to hit thirty, so we're still a ways away from that. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, it's kind of like Iceland slash Greenland, you know? They misnamed it intentionally to get people to go there instead. Yeah, nobody wants to go to hell, but we have a hell Michigan. It's quite pleasant there. It's only like a couple miles from where I grew up. It's quite pleasant. I mean, you got some wonderful architecture. It's very unique. Lots of statues to add, you know, spice up the decor. I mean, definitely a different skyline. It's, you know, very different. A giant flying space vaginas? I mean, you can't go wrong. All right, I'm back and refreshed. All right, let's do this. All right. You ready? But you know, I have a joke for you before we go. Okay, what's the joke? Do you know the difference between a hippo and a zippo? What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One's real heavy, the other's a little lighter. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Terrible jokes! Woo! Okay, let's go! <laughs> Wee! Grenades work well with low rate of fire guns. Oh my gosh. That's perfect. That is through my fire thingy where Stompy is. Yay! He really does. Holy smokes. That's amazing. And just to make things a little easier to see, let me clean all these bodies up. How did you do that? Oh, but he's in the bugs. Oh, you did? Okay. 
Well, that's good. That's how I restore my health. Well, I was gonna say you got a lot of health there. That's for sure. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Stompy got everybody. <laughs> Goodness, you guys are all OP with your stompies. Well, and the best part is, whenever he goes big mode like that, he regenerates health constantly, so. That's ridiculous. I keep wanting to aim for the biggest threat in the room, but. It's Stompy! <laughs> Wow. Wow. That's all I gotta say. So have some more bodies. There we go. Yay, level 23! Little bruiser just hanging out alone. Ain't nobody there to kill him. Stompy's making this look so easy. What were we worrying about before? Oh, you didn't have a Stompy before. <laughs>
I'm just doing all the work here. I'm just holding on the left click button. I ain't doing much of anything now. I'm just like, ah, la, 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 la. Yeah, I'm just letting the minions take care of most of it. Ooh, what is that I got? Ooh, I got stuff for you guys. I think you're gonna be very happy with, I think. And by minions, you mean the elementals. Yeah, Stompy's not a minion. Stompy's our friend. No, I just want to make it clear when he said the minions do all the work, he wasn't talking about us. <laughs> you know what? I bow down into my demonic overlords. It's okay. <laughs> Is Stompy your god now? <laughs> All hail Stompy! All I get are the uh, double edge stuff now. It seems to be all I get. Let's see. No, not worth it. When I get to identify some stuff, I don't have any more identifiers, but I've got a legendary armor and also a lava launcher for you guys that might be interesting. I just found a rare weapon, or a legendary weapon, <laughs> so for Guardian Blade Master. Oh, my friend IW42 says... You know, Hell's really nice. Been there too. It's really nice until the Lions win the game, uh, a football game. It's when Hell freezes mm -hmm. over. Um, nom, 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 nom. What is what does demon taste like? I mean, you would think that like a blood bones really isn't very meaty. Nah, I'd say the uh, skeleton type guys they they just taste kind of like bone meal. Hmm.
Stumpy, time to get to work again. Do your thing, Stumpy! I think that's it, isn't it? Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, unless we failed to go into some obscure corner that happens to have a, uh, chest in it. I think that's it. Yeah, that's nice! Clear. Nice. Hey, Dwarven Dad! How's it going? Yes! We are harnessing the power of hell itself! I'm gonna go sell and identify my stuff here real quick. Yeah, I might have found some replacement goodies. Hello, how may I help you?
Let's see. So I'm going to have a oh, legendary way, helm for you. Ooh. Near it. We'll have to see how it looks. Um, yeah, so I've got a uh, legendary secure beef eater tunic. It does 6% extra minion damage, 41% extra armor value, uh, 475 ignite defense, 240 shock defense, 351 stun defense, and 193 poison defense. Not bad. That might about match up to the current chess piece I'm wearing. Okay. And then we got a lava launcher, which does um let's see. Does fire damage in a field the sixteen to twenty eight a second for one point five seconds. And um let's see, does fifty three percent damage to demons? 6% uh, chance to fire exploding spikes when it kills an enemy, and energy consumption minus 9. Interested or no? I'll, uh, I'll let you take a look at it. What about you, Simon? You want this? <laughs> cool story, news. I was looking at this other gear. No problem. Take your time. You're doing great. All right, so that it needs five stamina. I'll be right back. Take a look at this. Oops. Hey. Not bad. Let's take a look and see what I got. So, 48 shields, plus 7 power points, duration of buff skills. Oh, sadly, yeah, the one I got right now is better, so I'm going to take care of that. Thank you, though. And then let's see how this compares. Oh, no, my rifle's much better. There we go. That works, though. That's good. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, Simon. Back. Let's see. How's it going, by the way, Dwarven Dad? I hope you're doing well. What you been up to? What you been playing? You been playing anything good lately? We're going back to Brat Blackfriars, right? Uh, I don't know that I actually need anything else over there. Oh, really? Okay. So now I need a puddle dock and the exospector. 
Okay, Black yeah, Virus leads the Puddle Dock, yeah. Okay. Oops, I did it's not mean to do that. Took the PRDs. Did not mean to do that. Oh, I gotta bring my friends back. Stompy! Puddle Dock. All right. Oh man, dude, how's it going, the Red Mage? How are you today, my friend? <clears throat> so, what do you need in Puddle Dock? I need to find. The exospectre. Oh, okay, we're going in for the heart. Mm -hmm. and this is where it crash landed. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <clears throat> Which one are you getting, uh, Rad Mage? Are you getting the Xbox or the PS5? Okay, because that hand does an excellent. Can't wait. You have to let, tell me how it goes. Alright, we got the down next inspector. It is kinda cool to go inside this carcass of this giant beast. It's funny, I was able to get this uh the Series X in my cart and to the checkout four times today on four different websites, which was good practice. Now I know That's what to amazing. expect for PS5 Day. <laughs> it's amazing how much this looks like the inside of Tech 314's mind. I know, right? What a coincidence! <gasps> what if there is? What if it's all the same? 
Poor Stompy, how do you even fit in here, buddy? It's a squeeze for you! Tunnels in the other two. Absolutely, yeah. Big time. Gosh, these orbiles. Alright, just need uh, one more demon blood. So many polyps! Alright, Stompy will bring them in. Huh. Good job, Stompy. So you still need one more thing? So moist in this place. <laughs> Plague zombie. Even blood. There we are. Well, it's a good thing we came this way anyway. Look at all these rares. Yay! We don't need it. We just need to teleport out, right? Yeah, oh, we gotta get we to just warp out. Oh, we no, can't. Wait, we can't warp. Yeah, we can't warp inside these beasts. No reception. Curious to load up Final Fantasy XIV on the PS5 to see if there are any improvements in the 4K performance. I'm willing to bet there is. Just wondering how it compares to my PC. I bet you your PC probably does it better, but um, still, Do you it's really nice to want the Final Fantasy XIV developers to start getting obsessed with polycount again? <laughs> I bet we could make this look better. Yep, yeah, we, we know we can. Exactly. Let's see. Get anything else? Unidentified infector. In my quests. Good to know you lot are about catching all the nasties.
Alright. Mansion house. Cannon Street to speak with the messenger. Cannon Street. Speak with Sir Singh. Do not presume to gauge me. Do not fear what can be tamed. Got the cleanser. So the heart was the last thing you had done? Uh, yeah. So what do you need to do now? Make sure we're in the right spot. I think the heart was the last thing we did. Oh, jeez. Uh, accidentally traveled to a place I did not need to travel to. You have two two Ixlers on the on the go now. Oh my goodness! So did you do just monk and uh, shaman then for your Ixlar? Uh, ah, here we go. New quest just popped up. Um, okay. Of course, it makes sense. I mean, it's the thing. Age is that uh that like. So the Ix are, right? I mean, there's not many monks. You only be human for monk, right? And then shaman was just ogre and, um, and barbarian, I think. So yeah, it makes sense. It makes so much sense. Ah, I have also just acquired the cleanser. All right. All right, so spectral splash. Interesting. Um, yeah, so my quests as it stands are travel to Angel Passage, uh, power source, take a zombie summoner in Mansion House, travel to Cannon Street, and speak with Messenger, travel to Cannon Street, and kill Necrofiend. Uh, kill hate gunner in barge house and report back to Stuart in temple station okay so mansion house takes us to cannon street which takes us to angel passage sounds like we have a place to go all right A, they can see in the dark. B, improved natural AC. C, improved regen. D, improved lung capacity. Yeah, but, I mean, humans are so interesting, though. Don't you just want to always be a human in every fantasy game you play? Humans, my favorite D&D &D race. <laughs> there you go. See? See? Is this a one-handed weapon? No, it is not. Okay. Are taken from the zombie summoner. Mm -hmm. 
we all got it. Yep. So I think, I'm guessing we're all on the same line of quests now. Yep, that we are. Yep. Alright, well, for starting all of, what, yesterday, yesterday Simon? Not bad! We uh, got to approximately where we needed to be. So why do we need this weapon? That she gave us. Do we really need it? Because it doesn't look like I need to. Perhaps we needed to cleanse a particular item. Maybe. The enemy. Dwarf and Dad says dwarves only. And it really didn't take too long for you to catch up. So if, if, if there were any Templar watching. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I see what you did there, Simon. If there are any Templar watching, they could become the new Stompy. And then gonna... I could just bring out my other pet, Stabby. Stabby and Stompy? I think Ixor oh. can't be Rogue's uh, mage because they got those tails. It's just unwieldy for a stealthy person. Hey look, it's a lowered Olamil again! Haven't we killed you already before? Like, 50 times? <laughs> Hey, do you guys know the question? Question. Who, what, where, when, why, how? The DC superhero. That is the question. Dorf and Dad, Who's you would. <laughs> Sorry, there's just a bunch of question marks of graffiti on the walls. I was really like, huh. Um, Dwarven Dad, you would love being a dwarf in EverQuest. They're the best! I mean, the dwarves did help the Wood Elves save the gnomes from their slavery to a giant dragon in the reclamation of their homeland. It's good times! I think that's I everything. Disapprove. <gasps> what? What do you disapprove of? I don't like gnomes. Gnomes are the best! No, gnomes are the worst. Humans are the best. <laughs> gnomes are super tiny, and they can be warriors! Ah, regressing brutes! I love the regressing monsters. Those are the best. This means more loot for us. Okay, so we need kill the necrofiend. I guess we already spoke to the messenger. Did we? Apparently. That grayed out like we did. I mean, what does it say? It's just his murmur saying, oh, right over there, that's the messenger. Go say hello. I demand my story arcs.
<laughs> Red Mage, oh man, Dark Gales are the biggest jerks. But they have the most interesting city. That's the thing. We're talking. Omega. Sorry, we're talking. We're talking EverQuest talk here. Old school EverQuest talk, like a vanilla EverQuest. Oh, there's there's the messenger. Okay. Oh my gosh. We'll be back in a way. Zombie Slayer! Nope, he's not doing too well. He's not doing so hot right now. Let's go upstairs and say hi. My goodness. God, Wait. What's wrong with the high elves? Rad maze, the high elves are awesome. They don't seem to be breathing. I'll take Goodbye. your pee. Hello. They don't seem to be breathing. Goodbye. We found a passageway. Alright. Inform Mag of her dead assistance and return the PDA to her. Okay. Ooh, a passage ray. You know what that means. <gasps> Zip! It's an elite passageway. What is going on? Oh, am I stuck? It's stuck yeah, on. Just like in Diablo 2, we can kill the fire enchanted and explode the fire. Or an ice enchanted that explodes with ice. If you kill a physical enchanted, they explode with a stun. Okay. So this is all special monsters. Let's see what I got here. Don't need those pants. 
Don't need those flames. I need an upgradey bit to complete my Ooh, okay. An upgradey bit. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Waves of death. So much death. Oh, there's another oh, passage ray. There's, <laughs> yeah, we got another one. You haven't explained, Rat Mage, why they're jerks. Why are the High Elves jerks? They're nice. They help everybody. They don't seem too jerky to me. I had a High Elf character. I liked him. Let's see, so we'll get rid of my old pads. The Pernicious... XM sixty six blade saw. What? Oh, I need. Oof. Okay. All right, we're going down. We ready to go in the next passageway? Uh, just a moment. Trying to clean up the inventory a bit here. All right. Treasure passage away, yay! Let's all stay together so we can get the treasure. This looks like a very short treasure passageway. Oh, okay. Whew. There's a dead guy. You know, for being a treasure passageway, there's not a lot of treasure here. Four passageways. One chest and a little bit of a little bit of palladium. Disappointed. All oh, right. The high elves merely tolerate the other races. They aren't like the wood elves. High elves believe they're superior due to them being a pure race. Well, I mean, they got theirs right with the whole inner rook stuff going on. This way is the way. There's old Lord Crusack again. Hi, Lord Crusack. Ooh, Necrofiend. There he is, the Necrofiend.
Lord Krusak doesn't want to die. He's a robust armored quick. Passage. I dig the high elves to Rad Mage, especially because their town is also is small but fascinating. All right, so we need to. Is there anything we need to do here? I don't think so. We just gotta get through it. Oh, that we need the thing for this now. These we can't blow up. So many boils! I haven't seen this many boils since I rubbed my Aunt Gertrude's feet! Hey look, it's Lord Olamil again! Hi buddy! Oh yeah, Lord Crusag, and look, there's Lord Olamil again! Man, didn't we just literally kill you seconds ago? I'm guessing there's a database of, like, mini-bosses that they've made, and there's, like, four or five different hell needs, four or five different zombies, four or five yeah. different skeletons, but they, they only made one... Lord I'm not sure if he's a polyp or an orbile. He's an orbile, I think. Maybe he's a polyp. Ouch. What is hurting me horrifically? The ground. The ground. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! <gasps> You're dead! No! Alright, I'll just tell him. I know, but Stompy! Yeah, we, he'll come back. We're not a team without Stompy! Oh, there you are! Hi! Welcome back! Now, we know there's Thanks. a few unique ore biles. Polyps come out of the boils, so that's why I'm thinking he's a unique polyp. He's oh, like the only unique polyp they ever coded. Maybe, and I think that's the case because you only have to deal with this, I guess, right now. It's a very instant situation, right? You don't come across boils very often. 
outside of right now where we see them constantly. Oh my gosh. Hey, Lord Olamil! Long time no see! Stompy literally just stomped him out of existence. He's a polyp. Oh my goodness, so many boils. I'm going to be so happy, so happy, when we're done with the boils. <laughs> I'm tired of all these stinking boils. The for uncle. Look at that. Just a big old super boil. There is Oculus the All Seen! Oh, jeez. Let's heal. Oh, look at this thing! Oh, you're so ugly! Oh, it's shooting eyeballs at us! Also poops eyeballs. It poops eyeballs. This is this is Facebook's oh, no. plan all along. Let's see what I got. I got a belt that you oh. got you might like. It has increased minion damage by twenty 
or three percent and twenty-two percent. Uh, minion armor eleven percent as well. That might be right up your alley. The sister. How's it going, sister? You needn't be afraid. I'm your sister, but to you that means little. To the demon, it is fear. And what do you think does evil cower from? Forever and more, demons have brought only everlasting death to life. Your kind has stumbled into oblivion, wielding might beyond comprehension. You have crushed worlds and scattered galaxies to thwart the beast, but always you have failed, for none of yours has yet to grasp truth. I am the sister, third of five. Will you hear me? May light guide your way. I'm ready to learn. You needn't be afraid. Our father you've met, our teacher you've heard, for all things a purpose. I'm nothing but the light in eyes. I'm a, I am little more than the song of leaves, the heart of color, and the laughter of life. I am the small world as it should be, the world as you made it. Tell me, child and student, would you war to preserve these gifts? If so, what weapon would you wield against darkness when men beyond you have failed? Us, you shall wield us. Find the others, use the weapon of balance against the nameless fire. Woe to the dark, for I am the sister, and I still sing. Truth, born for a singular purpose, to bend the dark, to thwart the nameless fire's unstoppable consumption of worlds. Two more to go. To balance. And so it was that man then sought its newfound weapon, never seeing the blade from the arm that wields it. Can you eat it? <laughs> May that guide your way. Eat the sister. You needn't be afraid. I oh, know, use that monster eating skill. Uh, I am not damaged, but I can try. Hang on a second. Eat the I... monster, eat the monster. Can I not heal the monster if I... Okay. I'm inside of it. I can't hurt myself if the monster isn't hurt. So. Ah. Uh. Uh, I think we're kind of out of luck here. Oh no! You can't eat the monster. I may have something for you, Lucas. Ooh. I'll definitely be giving you that belt to take a look at, because it is a bunch with minion damage. An increase of 22% right. and 2%. 3%. Wait, I have the same belt. Hey! Slashing palladium webbing! Oh, this is slashing bulwark strap. Oh, okay. Minion damage plus 20%. Did you guys go and talk to the truth person? We did. All right. Monument station, monument station. Hey, there's Huber. Hi. I've seen him a couple of times. He's like the only guy here in the station. <laughs> Huber and Lineria the Crate Crasher. And Albert. What's up, Al? Alright, let's see what I got. No. Nope. No. No trouble at all. Mm-hmm. 
some stuff. Take your time. Uh, just actually I'm just gonna close that I gotta sell this before I do anything. Garbage. The survivors of London recognize holy flames, the veteran EU guild. Average level forty seven. Minimum of twenty members oh minimum of twenty members required. Venice. The future of travel is now. Eurotube. This reminder brought to you by your friends at Flagship Travel. Four hours, one train, zero guilt. Talk to Arfon. Ah, yes. Come, speak with me. When we lost contact with Temple Station, I feared the worst. To see you here gives me great joy. What word from work, hmm? Have his hunters set their sights upon truth? <gasps> Another truth already! <clears throat> Wonderful, and yet disturbing. When Maxim hears of this, already he pushes and pushes and pushes for action. Our High Lord, our Sinestral of the Order, a naive fool! <clears throat> Maxim sees only glory. Glory forever beyond reach, thinks, thanks to the actions of better men long dead. In Maxim, there's little more than a consuming dream to become such a legend. When he learns of his sister's words, no problem, of her assurance that we can best the demon, or at least fight to a balance, I fear he shall do something truly rash. Huh. I will need to prepare. See you soon. Patience, always patience. End of Act 3, it says. Yay! Lament. Demon Lament has reportedly been seen in Upper Thames. Proof of payment. Yay! Good man. Hey, remember that little bait gig you set me up with? The one for Goodall? Well, that didn't go exactly as planned. No, I learned the demons in all right. I left myself wide open, and Goods took down a few key marks. Everything looked fine for a while, but there was one that got away. Of course, it was the biggest and baddest of the lot. Goods wasn't too happy about that, so she blamed me as women such as her are wont to do. Now I look the fool. If you can track this bastardly big hand through monument tunnels and blow its head off, I'd be really appreciative. Frankly, I'm not looking for anything but a little vengeance at this point. The demon blew my chances with a nice homicidal maniac of a lady. Now the son of a bitch needs to pay. Farewell. All right. We talk to Arfon and they go turn in our quest Hello. at the other station. We have a problem. The High Lord Maxim Sinestral of the Templar is mustering his ranks. I suspect he means to assault the Hellgate. Uh, it's no great surprise. Maxim has always been plagued by arrogance and excessive ambition. A growing need to become legend has made the High Lord blind to all reason. Now the fool thinks himself the next Patrick Summerisle. The late Grand Master wrote his name with blood in the annals of our history. Maxim yearns for similar recognition, but doesn't understand. Summer Isle sacrificed to secure our future. He died so that we might live. Maxim, well, he fights only to secure glory, an ignoble reason to begin any crusade. Worse, now that we've met three truths, the High Lord may actually think himself capable of victory. I fear we could even launch a premature assault upon the Hellgate, despite the sister telling us we must first discover the other truths. The fool! An assault now will earn us nothing but death. Truth is the key. I'm certain of that. To ignore it is to embrace oblivion. Uh, I think you may be able to help. If the High Lord is mad enough to put his own wants before the lives of all Templar, of all survivors, we must know for sure. Only you can find out. All I require now is a way to get you in the door, close to Maxim. I'll work on that. Come back to me soon. Have faith in the fight. I've intercepted a video transmission from the Seraphim First Sword, Aaron Altair, one of Maxim's most valued knights. Listen now. Lord Maxim, your pardon, sire, Principality Lan and his fists were fallen upon in Tudor Street. Lan himself was taken. 
I beg you spare the fists necessary to mount a rescue. Without reinforcements, land stands little chance. Templar base is but one stop from where land was ambushed, Bogus, but Maxim will send no one. He has not received the signal. I have not allowed it to pass. Please, I know this seems a terrible thing, but you must understand what's at stake. You must listen to me. War, Bogus, I speak now of war at its costs. Yes, land may die. I know it, but his capture presents an opportunity I will not dismiss. If Maxim assaults the Hellgate now, as I suspect, all will be lost. Sometimes, for the greater good, an individual must sacrifice everything. Land would understand. Can you? If you will, I would have you meet Seraph Altair at Tudor Street and attempt Land's rescue. Maxim thrives in heroics. If you can save the Principality and deliver him to Maxim, you may yet gain insight into the High Lord's schemes. Even if you fail to secure Brandon, the very attempt will shine and Maxim will still be, uh, there's no soft way to put it, in need of a new Principality. Take this first aid kit. I hope Land still lives to make use of it. I'm sorry, in war no decision is easy. Good luck and Godspeed! Hold fast. Okay. Good day, sir. Word from the wise, don't go between Arfon and Maxim. Their little tiff predates the invasion itself. That's not something you want to be in the middle of. My recommendation, focus on work. There's plenty to go around. In fact, I've got something for you if you're interested. Map out East Cheap. Simple as that. Farewell, champion. Oh. Too many quests now. Oh, i got to turn in the other ones. I'm going to get rid of these. Abandon. Abandon. Meet death together, brother. Tomorrow then. And then where is the teleporter? Augmentrix. Temple station. Turning in my stuff. You will die in combat. That's not technically a vision. More of an informed guess, really. Dead, what a tragedy. I suppose that explains why I never heard from them. But they were all so young. I knew you were going to do that. You will die in combat. That's not technically a vision. More of an informed guess, really. Okay, take these chemicals. Oh, there's a creature in Angel Passage. Okay. Can't say I didn't see that one coming. Something to kill in Angel Passage. Always got to look at the bright side, eh, mate? Last piece of the puzzle. Put that there and what the what the hell's this? Why do I always have extra pieces? That's not right. Oh well who cares? All done. You first. Alright. How could I doubt? You hunters are notorious fighters. I However, have mastered the overhand shoulder chop. <laughs> I knew you would. Well done, Bogus. Well done. We got rid of that nasty critter and made some nice loot in the process. Not bad. Not bad at all. So. Setter. Cotton ducks. Sure, why not? Monument Station. What does this lady mm -hmm. do? Oh, donate money. Goodbye.
Can I help you? Farewell. All right, sorry, didn't mean to hold anyone up. No worries. I went and turned in the other quests from the other station, and we got a couple more quests and stuff like that. So, and I also fixed a whole bunch of stuff. Here, let me give you this thing to take a look at this this belt. Let's see if it's something that'll work for you. I have presents for you as well. Woo! Oh, I'll take it. I'm not done. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so those guys. And let's see. That one. That belt's the one I gave you. Oh. Wait, the, you gave me a, an engineer belt? Oh, no. The belt was... It's not for engineers. It's for anybody. Because it had minion damage. No. Or is it only engineers? Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, requires engineer or marksman. Oh. Okay. I didn't know. It didn't tell me that. Sorry. I gave it to you thinking that it would do it. Oh, yeah, engineers are the other class that has pets. Yeah. Yep, I got really good armor with that. Let's see. Yeah, I hate to say this, but I'm crashing pretty hard. From oh lack no, of sleep. Simon! That's okay, Simon. What time is it? It's 10 15? That's not too bad. Okay. No problem, Simon. No lack of sleep. Why did you get lack of sleep? Shame on you, Simon. Schedule differences. Hey, no yeah. worries. No worries. Um, will you be available on? Let's see. Not tomorrow night, because I know you got stuff going on. Um, how is uh is Thursday night okay? Or sorry, Thursday night. Yeah, Thursday looks clear. I think. Uh, I think that might be right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll, I'll talk about it. We'll figure it out. Okay. Well, let's go see what's going on. Cause it's 11. I need to get some sleep too. Let's go see who we can raid tonight. Let's see who we can raid tonight. Who do we got? Cha 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 cha. Made it to a new station. This is true. That's and we got another truth. We got another truth. So that's also good. I don't want to hear that. Let's see. Uh, and you have another teammate. I know, which is even better. All right. Um. Let's go say hi. I mean, Weevil's still on. Let's go say hi to Weevil. Spleen. He's playing Star Trek right now. Super awesome person. If you haven't seen Weevil Spleen, great guy. Really awesome. Let's go raid Weevil Spleen. I don't typically get a chance to raid him. Anyways, thank you guys. I'm going to go. Have a wonderful night. Farewell. Goodbye. Right. Thank you very much. Bye, Simon. Get some rest. Good night. And thank you, by the way, so much, Professor. Thank you for coming My along. My pleasure. All right. Bye, guys.